Oh, fucking hell. What? You do this all the time. Yeah, because this is the Honda, so they want like a general review. Name, age, and. Yeah, I got a fucking audience. <sighs> I'm going to be laughing the whole way through. Right. Sit there. I want to talk to you. No, no, him. Move over a bit more. Right, that's it. Yeah. Right, you ready? Right, my name is Billy McKenzie. I ride for Cass Honda. No, I'm Monster. What? Monster Honda. Monster Cass Honda. Yeah, I Monster Honda. Right. My name is Billy McKenzie. I ride for Monster Cass Honda and I'm from Longley Dream Scotland. Oh. Huh? This shit, that's what? Oh, the 08 season? Yes. Yeah, I was just going to say. Well, uh, the 08 season was a lot different from this season. Um, pretty much dominated every race I entered in the British Championship, which was good. Uh, haven't been able to carry that momentum forward this year, like for a number of reasons, mainly being injuries and uh, like bike setup. But sort of getting the ball rolling now, you know, uh, injured my thumb uh, about a month and a half ago, and that's getting better now, so should uh, should be on form tomorrow. Right, um, basically started racing when I was six. I uh, got a bike when I was five. Uh, pretty much from then, just practiced with my friends. My dad took me all around the country, just uh, going to local races and stuff. Ended up doing pretty well and uh, getting sponsorship. And it's pretty much been all I've known since I was six years old. So that's, uh, it was actually a friend that got me started in it and I just loved it. You know, I've been doing it 20 years of my life now and uh, just looking to sort of get those championships that I've dreamed, on, dreamed of as a kid. and. Uh, uh, yeah, win them for Honda as well, you know, they put together a great package for me the last couple of years and uh, the bike's perfect now, so there's no reason why I can't do it. It's pretty, uh, having Brian on the team is really cool because like, we used to train together a lot in, in the 08 season, like pretty much done everything together and uh, for this, for the 09 season I changed trainer and I changed, you know, where I was living and went and lived with Jamie Dobb and, and my trainer Kirk and stuff, done a lot of things different, but I was uh, pretty much doing it by myself because I didn't have Tommy there to do it with me this time, so I've, uh, it's not been, like, it, it, the training's went fantastic, but riding's not, it's, it's been a bit of a hard task this year, and especially with the injuries I've picked up. So now Brian's on the team and I'm feeling healthy again. Uh, we get some riding and motors done together, and it's, you know, it can only be good for both of us because we, we know each other's speed when we practice, and uh, I can bring him on and he can help me, like, concentrate on lap times and stuff. So, and hopefully this will be the chance that he needs to, to get to the top. Uh, it's hard to explain as a racer when you're on the start line there's all kinds of mixed emotions you know before the gate drops you know you're, you're trying to like make a game plan you're trying to figure out what corners what lines you're trying to remember all the lines from the sighting lap and stuff um, but when the gate drops it's just like a mind blank you just go for it and some you know the, the people who who aren't up there on the front are the people who are thinking too much you know I think on the first few laps you have to sort of leave your leave your mind um, behind the gate you know and just go with instinct and uh, and make those passes and, and take those chances to get to the front and uh, you can sort of see that with the natural racers they, they you know to get to the front that's that's what happens you know and the people who are a little bit scared or maybe don't want to like bang bars that's you know they end up at the back so uh, for me I'm lucky like when the gate drops I do kind of just naturally leave my head behind and maybe that's sometimes you know why I go down but I'm um, you know I'm just trying my hardest to, to get to the front and win so it's difficult to explain that, like that feeling, unless you're on the line and and racing there. But uh, it's exciting, and that's what keeps us, you know, riding our bikes. Having a factory bike just makes your life so much easier. You know, you're, you're not having to fight with, um, you're not having to always think about things. You know, like you do your setup uh, before the season, and being with a factory team, they can give you anything you want. You know, so you have the. You have the engine, like the the right power you want. You have the suspension working the way you want, and you're comfortable and confident knowing that your bike's the the bike for you. You know, like you know that there's nothing else you can do to that bike. So it's um, yeah. I mean, like being on a factory team is so important, and especially with uh, Monster Cast Honda, like they, yeah, I've grown really close to the whole team, and they all help out, you know, as much as they can, and they've produced a bike for me that's you know that's spot on, and you know you can see from their record that like their bikes have always been good you know they know what they're doing and it is important to have a good bike to be honest with you sometimes when i'm practicing i'm i'm more on edge uh but in a weird way in control you know when i'm practicing i'll i'll push myself 
hard uh, at the end of the moto, trying to get the lap times down, you know, in preparation for the race. But sometimes when you're in a race situation, and you know, I know it's a bit uh, rich coming from me, but you don't want to push too hard on those last final laps because then you go down. And I've been learning that pretty much my whole career. I've always been the guy who crashed on the last lap and lets everyone down. But you know, that's just because I'm, I'm working hard in practice and uh, I don't want to settle for fifth or, or third. You know, I want to keep going and push to the end. And recently, the last couple of races when I've been ended up fifth or whatever after being second or, or leading the race, is only because I, I don't want to take any risks and I've had that much pressure from everyone saying like don't crash, don't crash, like you're a crasher. So that's why I've sort of, I feel it, I've been dropping back those last few minutes of the race and uh, like now, and partly it was because I was injured as well, I was just thinking right well fifth's still a good result for, for your thumb, you know, just bring home some points and like start gathering momentum. So, you know, now that my thumb's better and uh, the bike's working well, I'm, you know, I'm just going to go for it on the last few laps and hopefully stay on this time. Back markers. <laughs> nah, I, what do I hate? I, I don't like fast tracks where it's difficult to pass. I like the more technical tracks. I like, um, you know, I like clean racing, but also like getting close with riders. You know, like uh, recently I've been taken out by Dodaika and Caroli, and it's kind of pissed me off a little bit because you know I do enjoy sort of close racing, but those those two passes on me have sort of left me on the ground like with no excuse. So. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I've, I've you know, told them both they're, they're due for a payback, but um, like I've already talk, talked with Caroli and stuff, and you know, he said sorry and all that stuff, and I've told him, I said, look, you know, we're both professional racers, let's just keep it clean and pass each other clean. And, you know, that it's, it's, it's been good, but I, I like, yeah, I dislike the fast tracks and stuff, and I like, like the close racing, really. Uh, I don't know, I haven't done it this year. <laughs> I haven't won a British Championship. I've not won one race this British Championship. Yeah, you're gonna have two tomorrow. See what it feels like then, I'll let you know. Yeah. You know, I, this is quite funny, I'm just thinking about this, like, I got a lot of, I got a lot of shit from, um, I can't say that, got a lot of, uh, got a lot of trouble from the fans and stuff for crashing at the last moto, the, the Dead Nations, but they were the ones cheering me on, you know? They are the ones saying, come on, keep going, you know? So, uh, like, <laughs> It's it's good, you know. I got G'd up. That's what they done. They they G'd me up. Like I was I was buzzing. Like I could see the flags. I could hear the people on the last few laps, and I knew that there was a guy in front of me, and that's all that I was concentrating on. I was passing this guy. I was getting cheered on. So, so that's what I went for. But yeah, like the nations is awesome, and I'm so glad that I've been picked for it the last however many years. I hope I can keep going. You know, it's, it's it's cool to hang that sort of plaque up on your wall and say like I was Des Nations team member this many times. You know, when when you hang your boots up. So. Uh, no, it's definitely a, a big buzz and it's always like quite a cool uh, sort of like just event to go to with your friends and like there's always a big following. It's not like every weekend race or that like, both championships are over. You go there for like one final race to have fun and to give it your all and um, that's what I enjoy about the Nations.